What's up, guys? How we doing? You will notice that I am in a different kitchen this week. Um, I am on vacation, so I am in a little cabin. In uh, what's up, guys? I'm in a little cabin in in uh, in Vermont, and I am hoping that this stream works okay. Is the voice sounding all right? How's it sounding? All right, cool. So. Uh, I am also listening to Bangers with Babish. You'll notice I got my headies in here, so I hope you guys join me. We can all synchronize, press play at the same time if you want. That'd be fun, right? Even though there's like a 10 second delay, so that's not really going to do anything. Um, Alright, so tonight we're making soup, guys. I have had stock bubbling. Ooh, can you see behind me? Yeah. I've had stock bubbling away for about four hours right now. And uh, this place smells like chicken soup, and it's amazing. And I would, like, you know, just keep this and just drink it, honestly. It's that good. It's very good for you, a lot of protein. Yep, 540p, sorry about that. It's a uh, pretty slow internet connection out here. It's it's DSL. Um, so, sorry about that. Uh, we'll be back to full HD next week. At least my voice isn't all chipmunky. That's nice. So... Oh, we out of focus here. Hang on, let me let me fix that. Sorry, I got no monitor here. I forgot a vital HDMI cable. There we go. How's that? A little better. Um, succulent 540p. I know. What's a DSL? It's long before your time. It used to be a way that people would talk to each other over wires uh, and satellites, but it's it's a long gone technology. Um, so again. For the, those of you just joining us, uh, I'm in a cabin in the woods. I apologize for the low quality. We got a slower internet connection out here, but I am on vacation in Vermont, and I still want to stream and make some soup with you guys. So I got my stock going here. It's been going for about four hours. I hope you guys have, uh, and, and I am alone. Yes, this is a solo stream. Uh, hello, Vietnam. Whoa, what's up? Thanks for watching, um, any major dude. And thank you guys for subscribing. Anybody who's subscribed, emotes are available now. Check this out. I'm going to drop one on you. It's called the Babish Laugh. Well, bam. Um, and you can see how long the, the delay is. It's nice. Hey, Nebraska. Hey, Mexico. Who else? Uh, thank you for subscribing. Sfawn99. Thank you. I'm so, oh, thank you for subscribing. Everybody, I can't read these names. So, Mo, Mo, Mojo500, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, hey, LA. Hey, England. Rochester. What's up, Matt Starr? Rochester, I remember your screen name. Boston, Scotland, Ohio, Chicago. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, man. We got the whole globe covered here. It's so cool. BWB laugh. Nope. Can't just type it. <laughs> or maybe you can. I don't know. I think it has to be all caps or something like that. Zimbabwe. Wow. Thank you guys for subscribing. Whoa, I'm seeing a bunch of new subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Troy, New York. Very cool. <laughs> nice, nice uh, uh, grape festival you got there. <laughs> you guys can, can, can uh, quiz me on uh, upstate New York stuff all day. But Ottawa? No, don't really. Um, Oh, I'm sorry you're sick, man. I just saw somebody was sick. Sorry you're sick. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're making some of this uh, soup because this will heal you. I promise. This will this will make you entirely better. Um, and I apologize also if there's any focus issues or anything like that. I don't have a monitor. I drove all the way out here and I forgot one HDMI cable that I used to 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 loop the camera into the monitor. So I can't see what I'm doing. I can only see the stream for like a 10 second delay. 15 second delay. So sorry if I if I uh, am off center or something like that. It's normally something I can look at right here. But anyway, oh, who, who's ready to uh, start making some soup? Let's do it. Anybody else cooking along here? Anybody got their stock going? You just made chicken noodle soup. We're supposed to make it together right now, Briars Lone Briars Lone Rose. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you, Le uh, Latrodectal. Ooh. Thank you, Wesh, Wesh, Wesh mate. Thank you, guys. Soup. Let's do it. We are making soup from scratch. I will bring over my 
stock right now to show you. I've had this guy going for about oh, four hours now. You can see she's beaut uh, and and uh, it's smelling oh it's smelling gorgeous in here. You can see I got the parsnips in there. I got some 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 turnips. I got carrots. I got celery. And also the celery leaves. You know, the, there's always like uh, when you buy stalks of celery, there's always. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't see in there very well. See, I don't have a monitor, so I couldn't tell. Uh, there's always all these like uh, you know leaves with celery. Throw these in there. These have plenty of good celery flavor, and you'd just be throwing them out anyway. So throw them in there. Um, so I'm gonna prep my veg for for uh, uh, soup time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel some carrots. I got a nice little compost bin out here. I'm in I'm in Vermont, so I'm composting. You know. Trying to do the earthly thing. Uh, I would compost in New York City, but I don't really honestly know how. What do I do? Just dump it out my window? Doesn't sound right. Countryman mic? No, I, uh, no, I'm just using the laptop mic right now because I don't have the hookup. This is kind of a bare bones setup out here, guys. I'm also going to be shooting the next two episodes of binging out here because I'm out here for two weeks, all on my lonesome. This is it, and, and except for the hundreds of people that are watching now, this is a this is a uh, get away from it all, unplugged, detached kind of trip. And I'm live streaming, um, but uh, yeah. So I would compost in New York City, but I don't know how to do it. So if anybody can enlighten me. Also, guys, I got a wood burning stove out here. And I want to use that in an episode. Uh, and I got to shoot two episodes out here. So the w one idea that I have is um, is uh, mini stew from Hateful Eight. A lot of uh, requests for that. And um, uh, you know, I feel like that cooked over a wood burning stove would be really cool. If you guys can think of any other like rustic scenes in movies where they might have cooked over a wood burning stove or over a fire. There's a fire pit outside. I think uh, you know, just something I can make like. Totally rustic style. <laughs> Making good use of those emotes, hell yeah. This is, uh, whose kitchen? This is an Airbnb that I'm staying in. Lovely uh, uh, host uh, named uh, Isabel, who is hosting, it, it, it's, a, it's a great little Airbnb. And I just put, I decided to post up here for a little while. I don't have an herb garden, I wish I had one. Stand by me, had that hot dog scene. Delicious, yes. Just eating hot dogs, crying about our parents and how they abused us. That's a, that's, that's a sad scene to recreate. I don't want to recreate that. It's too sad. Strangers. I've not seen strangers. What does that mean? Oh, you're welcome, Eric Reyes. I, I think I remember... I don't remember... I can't say I remember your Cacio Pepe specifically, but I remember liking one today. If it was today, then I remember it, and it looked really great. Uh, I wouldn't say eat, pray, love. I would say more of a chop wood, carry water kind of thing. <laughs> if I had to choose a book to to ascribe my, my experience to, I would say, uh, yeah, chop wood, carry water. Uh, or the uh, Zen of uh, motorcycle maintenance, if I had a motorcycle, but I don't. It's not creepy. It's in the middle of nowhere, but like... I don't know. It doesn't really bother me. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> How long do you just let them get to know each other? I know it's it, that can vary wildly, uh, depending um, depending on what you're doing. If you're sweating garlic with some onions, it's very fast. If you're making, you know, uh, stock here, we're, we're letting these flavors get to know each other for for hours. So it's 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 it's. Uh, thank you for subscribing, uh, Song C Y. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, Budanesca, I definitely want to do. I'm going to have to do that back uh, when I get back home because I don't have a pasta maker here and they use a pasta maker. Um, but lag, I know, I'm sorry. Thank you for subscribing, Adumar999. Yeah, there's probably a 15 second delay. I don't know if that's normal, but thank you for subscribing. Borgren? Borg okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start cooking now. <laughs> I can. Yeah, no, I'm going to head up to uh, Burlington or Battle, Brattle, Brattleboro, Brattleboro uh, and check out some of the some of the cheese and some of the uh, maple syrup you all have here. Pretty good setup out in this state, guys. Very beautiful place. 
Very serene. Uh, nice people. Good liberals. You know? Normally when you get a... Okay, I'm not going to get into politics. People get mad when I get into politics, but... I, I was very relieved when I pulled up and I saw a, a frozen over Bernie 20... Uh, <laughs> Bernie 2020 uh, uh, sticker on the, on the car. Um, yes, you don't have to skim stock, but it will help prevent it from getting too cloudy. Uh, I didn't skim this one, and you're going to see it, you probably see it's a little bit cloudy. Um, th uh, thank you for subscribing with the uh, three month subscriber, DJ Vazic. Thank you. But Vaz, yeah, DJ Vazic. Thank you. Thank you, smelly salami. That's, <laughs> that's nice. Thick. Thick boys. No thick boys tonight. Just one thick boy. It's me. All right, let's get to chopping. I am dealing with a stranger's knives right now, so this is going to be a strange experience. But I've done stranger things, with stranger knives, in stranger places. So I'm just chopping up my carrots here. You, you know, just 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 cut them up soup size. You know, what would you want on your spoon? You don't want too thick a carrot on your spoon. You want something you can fit in your mouth, right? That's that's a that's a that's a that's a life lesson right there. You want something you can fit in your mouth. You can quote me on that. This knife isn't terribly not sharp. It's I've had worse at Steve's house. I'm kidding. Sorry, Steve. But a lot of people made fun of his knives when I cooked over at Steve's house for the um, for the uh, Moonlight special. And they're like, whose knives are those, and do they care at all about your safety or about cooking? Uh, how do I do that? Put a notification on the stream when people subscribe. How do I do that? I don't know what that means. What am I making? I'm making chicken noodle soup. So I got my stock going in the background. Anybody who's just joining, I got stock going. I've had it going for about four hours now. If you're uh, cooking along, you know, using store-bought stock is fine this time around. I would hope that you make your own next time because uh, it really is way, way better. Seriously, make your own stock and then smell it. Just smell it or taste it too. Yeah, <laughs> you, I suppose you could taste it uh, compared to the box stuff. And you know, the box stuff just tastes like cat piss compared to the real thing. I swear to God. So, sorry. I'll keep. Uh... Thank you for subscribing, Ketchup Chip, Dewis Maximus. Thank you. Thank you guys all for subscribing. We really appreciate it. You're helping make the stream possible every other week. Um, last week, when we shot that um, that big uh, uh, binge with the, uh, the, uh, the two million subscribers special, the reason that I had a crew there was because we were batch shooting. Uh, I believe it was eight new episodes of Basics, so we got eight new ones on the way, on deck, uh, including things like I think there's going to be a two part, two two episodes on eggs. Eggs Benny, um, Scotch eggs, Simple Fried eggs, Soft Scrambled eggs, 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 eggs. You know. Yeah, I'm the Bob Ross of cooking. What up? How do I know what cat cat piss tastes like? Same same reason I know what anything tastes like because I tasted it. I'm kidding. Um, I I I know what it smells like because if you've ever gone into somebody's house who owns cats, you know what cat, you know what cat piss smells like. It does not smell great. I love cats. It's a shame because uh, I can't have them, both because of the smell and also because I'm definitely allergic. It's got to be a better system here. See, I, this is why I talk about getting a big cutting board because you see, I'm, I'm starting to to get limited here. This countertop's clean. I'm just going to put those there while we continue. All right, what are we talking about here? Thick eggs. It's going to be excellent. Damn right. See that? That's too big of a piece. I don't want to put that in my mouth. I want something that's going to fit on my spoon. Like that. So, bear that in mind when you're chopping up your vegetables. Try not to do what I'm doing, which is maintaining very bad knife discipline. I apologize. Uh, I only need to like take a fresh course on knife discipline. I'm not drinking anything tonight. Lego Maniac 2013 because I am taking a couple weeks off the sauce, something I meant to do 
you know, New Year's resolution, take a couple weeks off. Uh, but, you know, I got sidetracked. But now that I'm out here in the woods, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a, this is going to be a dry week, you know, two weeks. I'm out here, two weeks. Um, and even though Vermont has some amazing breweries and stuff like that, I shall remain strong and keep drinking tea as I have been doing. Lots and lots of tea. Are you guys, are you guys also doing a no sauce thing? Like, I, I, I feel like everybody does that in January. Like, you just need to reset, you know? The holidays, like, you just get all fat and gross and drinking all the time, deal with your family. And I, if my family's watching, I'm just kidding around. They're, 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 <laughs> but, you know, that's the, that's the trope I'm talking This is a trope. Not you guys. My family probably not watching. My dad might watch. My dad is a big fan of mine, and I love it, and I appreciate that. And it was his birthday on Tuesday, so that's why it said happy birthday on the... There was a very good reason it said happy birthday, Dad, and that's because it was his birthday. Troy's Farmer's Market. All right, I'll check that out. I uh, don't know how close I am to that. Um, what kind of tea do I drink? Chamomile, green tea, uh, matcha, you know, doing the matcha thing. It's 2018. I'm a couple of years late. Was that big in 2017 or 2016? Either way, I'm a little late. But yeah, matcha. Matcha all the way. Matcha all the time. I have to have my matcha. I'm, I'm quoting that, that, uh, that video where Trump says China is the most amazing video. I just keep saying China over and over. Um, green tea that has rice in it. Gross. Yes, it's not my kitchen. Advance uh, uh, since Tsar. Uh, for anybody who's just joining, I am on vacation. I am in, ooh, this is yeah, not a very sharp knife. Um, I am in a, a cabin in the woods of southern Vermont, and, uh, and I am uh, streaming remotely from here. That's why the quality is a little lower. We're dealing with a DSL connection out here because it's in the middle of gosh darn nowhere. And, uh, oh, I can tell already this onion is going to make me cry. Ooh, ooh, I can tell. Ooh, it's an angry onion. Am I married? No, I'm not, Luke Mutes. I'm not, I'm not a married man. Uh, yeah, there's like a million tips to tr try not to cry while peeling onions. Uh, sometimes you just can't do it. One thing I've found is that whenever I refrigerate onions, like overnight, they tend not to bother me as much the next day. Uh, I don't know if that's legit. I just know that it's worked for me. Um, but these guys have not been refrigerated. They're grocery store fresh. Cutting these in slightly bigger pieces because this is, I want pieces comparable to the size of the, of the, uh, ooh, yeah, all right, of the uh, celery and the carrot. So like, yeah, like that. Ooh, my eyes, my ojos, my sweet, sweet ojos. Whew. All right, back to nature with Babish, baby. Uh, yeah, no sharp knife. That's an, that is that is the true secret. Is if you use a sharp knife, you are not gonna cry from the onion. And I read something once as to why that happens. I think it's because you're rupturing fewer cell walls. I think uh, by using a sharper knife. I think that was the explanation that I read. Um, that could be entirely inaccurate, so don't quote me on that, please. Um, all right, well, I... Oh, jeez, my eyes. Okay. Whew. Whew. Do I have slow-mo on right now? No, I don't. You guys are being so chill for not having slow-mo on. <laughs> Normally, it's just like a, a, a cascade of, of comments, but like I'm just I'm seeing lots of great questions and stuff. Tear down this cell wall, Mr. Gorbachev. Eh, that, was, that was lame. Um, what's my favorite comfort food? Probably what we're making right now, man. I haven't eaten all day. Okay, that's not true. I, I ate. Uh, I ate some. What did I have? I had. I had a ten. I had a, a, a ten piece on the road. Okay, and I admit it. I'm doing like a, not a whole thirty thing, but just like a like I made an agreement with myself while I'm out here in this cabin. No, no drink, and. Uh, just only eat foods that I prepared myself, like whole, you know, 
not processed foods. And uh, it's just because, you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying there's any validity to, to, to holistic medicine or anything like that, but there's definitely validity to sort of like letting your body reset and sort of get all the crap out of it. Put so much in it all the time. So those that, that 10 piece was my last hurrah. No, it's not a new knife. This is this is the knife that uh, came with the Airbnb. And I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of it. It is not comfortable. This is why you gotta like go and road test knives when you buy yourself a knife. Look how red it's making my finger. It's because it's just like I don't like the anyway. I'm not gonna complain too much. This is somebody else's knife after all. Not my knife. Finally chopped this parsnip. Ow, this is so freaking uncomfortable. Maybe I just have soft hands and a soft city boy. <laughs> that sounds great. Pound cake and Tito's and soda sounds great. Uh, Dude, uh, Millie, uh, doot, 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 Millie, that's a, that's, that's a really nice story. Uh, thank you very much for sharing that with me. Uh, as you guys might know, I said this in the, you know, the, million, the two men subscriber special, my mother taught me to cook and she died when I was very young and food is a great way to carry on somebody's legacy recipes that they taught you their If they didn't teach you to cook their favorite food, what were their favorite things to eat? It's a great way to remember somebody, honor somebody. Um, and I think that's one reason why it's important to, to cook because that's, that's one way I want to be sort of remembered if I, I, anytime my buddy uh, Sawyer eats uh, both bourguignon which is his favorite which I've made for him a few times I want him to think of me if I'm, if I'm dead and gone so that's a, plenty of parsnip I don't know why I'm doing this um, oh god <laughs> alright this is great I, I mean I only have uh, 1.5 megabits per second up and I know this is 960 or 540 uh, but like no frame drops so far. Seems like things are synced up. Are you guys listening to the uh, the playlist? Yes, I have a whetstone, and I will do a whetstone episode. I want to do like a like a kitchen tools upkeep episode. I think that'd be great. Like how to clean stainless, how to uh, take care of your, uh, your your cast iron, how to sharpen your knives, how to do this, how to that, yada yada yada. I'm thinking that would be nice. Oh, that's nice, Suicidal Sweets. That, that's a strange nickname, uh, or uh, screen name for me to be saying when, I, when, I, when we're talking about your Nana, but, you know. <laughs> your dog was barking? Okay, let me start over. Hey guys, welcome back to Basics with the Babish live stream. I am in a cabin in the woods in Vermont. Uh, that's why it's a strange kitchen. Anybody that's just joining us? Bring you up to speed. Um, yeah, I mean, thank you for subscribing to the robot. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Henry, chill the fuck out, okay? I know you want daddy's attention, mommy or daddy's attention, whoever, whoever it is we're talking about here. But mommy or daddy is watching Babish right now. So. Exercise a little bit of chill, please. Okay, that's our veg. So I'm going to strain my stock real, real quick. Uh, I hope to go skiing. I didn't bring any skis, and I don't have any skis because I live in the city. Uh, binging with Daddish. That is the next next show. Um, working on final project for Comtech. Going to listen to what is Comtech? Communications technology. Okay, sorry, that was that was stupid. Okay, I'm gonna drain my stock. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll do it over here. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. I just wanna do this over the sink. Look at these. Look at these darling pot holders I'm using here. This is just darling. Okay. Oh, this is not a large enough vessel. It. That is a large enough vessel. How about that? I'll be a son of a bee. 
Did I just invent that? I'll be a son of a bee? I feel like that's funny and a thing, and I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it. Did I just come up with that? I'm Ben. I bet I did. <laughs> oh, I gotta get the induction burner set up, guys. Shoot, you need to be able to see what I'm doing, don't you? <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange new environment. Um, geez, I don't know if... I hope I don't, like, blow a circuit breaker doing this. This is not, like, the newest house. And that thing is 1,800 watts. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's say a little, little prayer here. If I disappear suddenly, that's why. It's because I just blew a circuit... Uh, 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 blew a... Not a fuse, but... Circuit breaker. Okay. You can see underneath this cutting board, why did this cutting board not move at all? Well, because I had a moist paper towel underneath it. That is essential for good times. Happiness. Um, all right. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Stick with me. Oh, we got good view viewerships going up steadily. Nicely. We peaked at like 5,000 viewers, though, once. How do I get more people? Okay. How are you guys digging the tunes? Anybody listen to uh, Bangers with Babish? The theme is chicken noodle soup. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, let me see if I can do this without blowing a fuse. Look at what I brought all the way from home. Huh? You guys thought I wasn't going to have my induction cooker. Well, you were dead wrong. No RIP stream. I just had to go get something. Just relax. Jeez. I need this. Okay. Here we go. Put these back here. Put the chop bed back here. And let's get this guy centered up and focused up. I did a pretty good job of centering that. Uh, I'm going to raise up the camera, too, so we can see down into the pot, right? Hang on. Here we go, folks. Heading up. See, this is why I need people here. Shouldn't be doing this on my own, but I'm on vacation. I'm on a vacation of solo so that's what I'm darn well going to do. There we go, Chad. That's a, that's a cool camera move. This up. Make sure everything's crystal sharp. Be clear. Get this guy nice and centered. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Uh, let me plug this in, and everybody just say a little prayer that uh, I don't blow main here. Okay. Straighten that up. Okay. And pot holders. Make sure this guy is all cleaned off because it's going to be some nasty spluttering if he's not. Make sure it's nice and dry for the induction. Induction's a bit of a diva. It needs to have everything just so. Okay. <laughs> Pig and Pepper, you're having a hard time tonight with the dog. I just keep every time I look over, I see a new complaint about Henry. Everybody, please say a little prayer for Pig and Pepper. He's having a hard time. Uh, just like a liberal ain't gas. <laughs> I love gas, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, right? Ow, it's hot. Um, okay, I'm pretty nervous that I'm about to blow a main here. So if I disappear, guys, that's why. It's because I just killed the power. Let me make sure I got my phone here, so there you go. Okay, here goes nothing. Get my stuff out of here. Keep your fingers crossed. Nope. Oh, hey, okay, all right, we're in business. Whew. All right, we got a thousand watts pushing here. That is not to say that this isn't going to you know, go out 
at any moment. But uh, can just keep your fingers crossed. Let's, let's hope we get lucky here. I'm going to do it with olive oil. Here. I don't know. It's right next to me. Let's oh. nice screw up. Okay. All right. Really good with olive oil. Just a little bit. I just want to saute my onions a little bit. I want the onions softer than everything else because I because I, I want everything else to have a little bit of rigidity to it. So you know, I want the carrots to still be a little carroty, you know, a little Keith carrot bean. Yeah. Um, but the onions, I want them to just lay in the cut, you know. There we are. Here we. Go. There's our onions. Okay. Oh, there's a soup ladle there I didn't see before. I was wondering how I was going to do the soup. No garlic in the soup. I do garlic in the stock, not in the soup. Banning with fabbage? What does that mean? It's a rustic sizzle indeed on, a, on, a, on an induction cooktop. Hey, thanks, thanks, Shigelds. Thank you for your kind words. That's very nice. I am on vacation, Bippity. Bippity one. That's why I'm not at my place. Rhett and Link smell like freshly felled trees and and sandalwood. And uh, they they smell great. They smell they smell wonderful. They're way taller than I thought they were going to be. Like I knew Rhett was going to be tall, but I thought Link was like. An average height, but he was, he was still like 6'1, six, 6'2, six, a, a couple of huge dudes. No laundry guy today, no. They don't do laundry delivery in rural Vermont. Hey, I'm gonna allow that. That was. Thank you, Atomi Kitten. What goes in my stock? Watch the episode! How tall am I? I'm five foot nine. Yes, six foot one is tall when you're five foot nine. Five foot nine inches. How do you apply to become my assistant? You just did. You got the job. How's a million a year set? It's not a manly. Five nine is perfectly average. <laughs> Let me spit. This. Five nine is perfectly average. Don't you dare make me don't don't, don't be a heightist. All right, I got my onions sweating here. No browning. I'm not browning these guys. I'm just, just making them sweat. Just making them feel the heat a little bit. You know what I mean? Five foot six is not bad. Five foot three is a little short, but I mean, come on. Who cares? It's not. It's not how tall you are. It is how tall you act, man. I'm five nine, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> act tall. See. Dude, that person just said they thought I was way taller. Why do you think they thought that? Because I act tall, baby. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being short. Nothing wrong at all. And, and, and same thing with, with balding. Anybody out there who's losing their hair? You know, they, they only see your hair loss if that's all you're thinking about and worrying about. And belly aching about all day. I'm adding carrots now because I got the good sweat going on in the onions, and I want to start heating up the vegetables because I, I, you know, I, I don't want this to take too long to come to a boil. I want it to come to a boil relatively quickly. It's carrots all on my computer. It's a disaster. What about everybody? We just talk about like hometowns. Everybody yells out their hometown. We talk about height. Everybody yells out their height. That's funny. Hundred bits. I don't know what that means. Thank you. If that's something. No, I I I balled it, man. But I said, fuck it, I'm chopping all this stuff off. And I did. I didn't think about it ever again. And that's what you gotta do. If you're, if you're losing your hair, don't cling to it and don't like don't don't let it define who you are, because then that's all people see is your hair loss, because that's all you, you see in yourself. I'm sorry I'm getting all motivational speak speaker on you guys here, but it's, it's true. It's absolutely true. Exactly. Own it, Matt, Matty Zor. If I, if I had, like, just thinning hair right now, 
it would look way worse than, than, the, than the bald head. Grow a beard, bald your head, and get on with your life. Or don't do that. Just do, it's your attitude that matters. That's what matters. All right. Parsnips are going in. Turnips, likewise, going in. Now, something I'm very embarrassed about is that I could not get any dill in this one horse town. I went to the co op nearby and they were sans dill. So I'm dillless today. I apologize. You're 5'9, my hair is longer than you are, is the meanest thing somebody's ever said. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, no, Sopranos, Sopranos episode definitely coming up because Artie, uh, Artie Bucco, there's that one episode where he makes the rabbit and you see the recipe on screen. Like the whole recipe. It's in Italian and it's in this like shitty cursive. But I've been working on translating it and getting it right into a usable recipe. So expect that it's soon. That's coming. Okay, I'm just grabbing my stock, guys. If I didn't go anywhere, no RIP screen, don't worry. I'm going to write back for you. Don't you worry. Okay. Got the stock. Let's dump it. Oh, man. Oh, man. We need plenty of room. That's a sediment in the bottom of the bottom. Plenty of room for chicken and noodles. So don't feel bad if you have like, a lot of stock. You're like, oh, no. In fact, this might not even be enough stock. You can actually supplement with water if need be. So what's going on with you guys? How's your how's your how's your week going? I don't know what kind of knife it is. Something. Super therapy. F U R I. I don't know. It seems like something you might get at IKEA. Supplement with wine. That's not a bad idea. I don't have any wine on me right now, but that is not a bad idea. Yeah, wine and chicken noodle soup. I don't know. That might be a bit much. That might be a bit much. It's Sundance weekend, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I forgot it's, it's different times for all of you. Right now it's uh, 8.38 where I am. This, this stream's probably just going to be an hour. It's going to be a quick one, guys, so get it while it's hot. Muscle milk. I'm so thirsty right now. I just realized I'm so thirsty. <laughs> How did I just get this thirsty? I'm being, I'm being bougie and I'm taking a polygraph to do all that. Oh my god, I needed that. Whew. Wow. Why did I get so thirsty all of a sudden? It was alarming. Nice. Z Z three or cool? Zero cool? <laughs> Why can I read these? <laughs> Piggy Pepper, you're having the worst night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the real Babish. Look, look at my arms. They don't, they don't draw these on just for the thing. Final Fantasy food definitely coming. Lots of lots of uh, you know video game foods, anime foods are coming. Food wars, you know, Shoku Geki no Soma, however you say it. Food wars. Uh, you you could use beet. Nah, I mean. You can use beef. It's not going to be bad, but it's not going to be like chicken noodle soup. If you use beef stock, it's going to be something else. I don't really know what that is. It's just, it's not going to be as good, I don't think. Yeah, get, and Studio Studio Ghibli, absolutely. Definitely going to be doing some, some uh, what's it called, uh, Spirited Away foods and dumplings. You know, these dumplings look so good. I wonder if parents got so fat so quick. Uh, let me grab the chicken real quick. Be right back. Here we go. Right. Oh, and I almost forgot the ginger. I was able to procure some ginger. So where's my, where's my peeler? Peel this bad boy up. Oh, I don't know if she has a grater. That's 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 trouble. It's not really trouble. I'm just gonna have big chunks of ginger in my soup, so it's gonna be spicy, spicier than a mo. You know, which is fine. I'm the only one eating this. Very spicy. What about you guys? You guys like spicy? I don't. I don't have lemongrass. Yes, it will still work. I couldn't get lemongrass either. 
I would really recommend putting some ginger in your chicken noodle soup. It really makes a big difference. Like, you're going to be sh shocked. It's so good. Okay, there we go. Peels up. Let me get to see if this, this uh, lovely host has a reader. Oh, she does! Let me I dropped my yeast. Um, one of my goals for this week is to learn how to make really good bread out of just, you know, flour, water, yeast, just like makes bigas, makes starters, and just get really good at it. Because uh, I'm not, it's hard. And um, let me get that really down in here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm hopefully going on Hot Ones this year, man. I'm talking to their producer right now. And Sean Evans just texted me today. Nicest guy in the world. He was just like, hey, man, I'm really proud of you. You've been everywhere last week. I was like, oh, dude, that's so nice. Sean, Sean is the nicest guy. He's such a pleasure to work with. And I'm not saying that just so I can get on Hot Ones. He texted me out of the blue. He's also going to do the Hot Pepper Challenge, the ALS Hot Pepper Challenge. Sourdough. Yeah, I mean, sourdough takes so much time. But then again, that's what I have on my hands here. That's why I came out here. Yeah, Sean is the nicest dude. Can't wait to do more stuff with him. No one else is in the cabin. Hipsters, man. No one but I. It's just like a horror movie. The difference is, I have a gun. I'm kidding, I don't have a gun. I wouldn't mind a gun, but I don't have one. I live in New York City. So he is a hot thing. That is very true. Uh, no new collabs with William Osmond. He sent me a box of stickers by, or uh, temporary tattoos by accident. So I just got those in the mail back to him today because uh, he sent himself a whole bunch of stuff when he visited for the collab. So, but I feel bad for the kid. But, uh, you know, his house and all, but you guys... The internet community really, really supported him. I think he raised one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars on GoFundMe, which that's amazing. Like, what a gesture of, of of internet love. If you find the loves, then internet loves. I think it's enough. Don't you? Okay, let's stir that in. Let those flavors get to know each other. You know what I mean? I, I like a lot of ginger. I want this to be like spicy from the ginger. That's what I want. This is what I like. I didn't even use it all. It's true. Is somebody getting into a fight here? I'll have no fighting. I will have no dissent in my in my chat rooms. Or, or uh, chat rooms. What the hell year is this? How many tasks do I have? I've uh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I have eight tattoos. Yeah, I got a little bit of soup in the ginger. I'm, I'm on vacation in Vermont, baby. I decided to hole up in a in a cabin with no one but an internet audience to keep me company. <laughs> um, God, I gotta crank up the heat on this. Oh, please let me not blow freaking me. Okay. That should be hot enough. Hipsters, man. I'm, I've, I've told you. I, I should vlog the trip a little bit. I don't want to be a vlogger, though. I don't want to pollute YouTube with vlogs like my YouTube channel that is. I don't want it. I want it to just be binging and basics. I don't. I don't want it to be like my entire life channel. So maybe on Instagram. Maybe I'll do some Instagram stories or something like that. I don't have any family here. I don't know a soul here. I'm here on the lonesome. Uh, I would rather face Gordon Ramsay in a cooking competition because either one of them would slay me. But at least it'd be fun to be slayed by Gordon. No piercings. I'm not a piercings guy. I don't think I would look good with any kind of piercings. Hey, thanks, Toxic Mind. Is 
that, that that's that's nice pupus to three two six that's 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 nice a lot, a lot of couples watch the show every every time i've met people on the street it's usually like oh me and my girlfriend watch it it's nice there's a sandwich making monster in Lilo and Stitch. I gotta re watch Lilo and Stitch. I guess. Uh, tattoos are all different kinds of stuff. Um, Celeste streams. If you're gonna get a tattoo, just you know, if it's your first one, make it. You know, I, I this is my favorite place for somebody to get their first tattoo. So you can hide it, and and it's it's pretty obscure if you regret it. Just don't get it. You know, way out here. You know, this is a great place for a first tattoo. Oh, you can't even see where I'm pointing. Here we go. This is a great place for a first tattoo. I'm not doing any touristy things. I am hiking, which I guess is a little touristy, but I'm not. Um, hiking, I'm cooking. I have made a agreement with myself. No alcohol, no other substances, uh, no... Uh, no food that I haven't cooked myself. I am going out to a restaurant one night because I do know somebody out here who has a restaurant. So I am going out one night for dinner, but every other thing that I'm eating is going to be something that I've cooked and only whole foods. It's kind of like a homespun whole 30 kind of, kind of vibe. It's not a hipster thing. It's a health thing. I want to feel better. You know, I want to, I want to feel more lively and, and cleaner. 2,000 year old bread recipe from Pompeii. Sounds gross. Uh, yeah, I, th I see. I think it's. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there is a, there's a claw foot bathtub, baby. We think I'm going to do with that bathtub. Not take a bath in it? Please. Um, her brown. Should I make Peggy Hill's brown Betty or should I make Spa Peggy and Meatballs? Uh, or <laughs> what else does she make? I think Spa Peggy and Meatballs is probably the way I go. My old knife is fine. Don't worry, it's back home. This is this is the knife that came with the with the Airbnb. I decided to come here with no gear other than the induction cooker because I wanted to be able to show you guys what I'm doing and cook here in front of you. Um, but uh, I, I I decided to come here with no gear because I wanted to show like this is one of those recipes that you can make pretty much anywhere in any kitchen. Just all you need is a pot and you know a couple of utensils and with tongs and a peel and that most people have those things and, and I, so I, I want to visit Seattle but I have the Seattle tattoo I have the I have this guy I don't know if you can see that I have my Fraser tattoo and it's my favorite tattoo because people will be will see it and be like oh my god you're from Seattle and I'll say I've never been to Seattle why do you ask and I won't be able to make that joke anymore if I, if I go to Seattle so this is not my pot again didn't bring anything here. This is a pot that was with the Airbnb. This is a nice uh, little liquor saver. I'm going to bring this guy to a ooh, real rolling boil. Get it really going because we got some cold chicken here. I don't want to lose too much, uh, too much momentum. And drop these guys in. Just like that and into, into their hot bath. Beautiful. I could, I, these are bone-in. I can only get bone-in skin on, so I just rip the skin off and... I'm just going to show you around the bones. Just kind of a pain is all. Wash my hands. Wash the, wash the chip off my hands. The other resolution that I, that I had when I came out here, the other thing I promised myself I would do is to do my dishes the very same nights that I cook. So after I get off the stream with you guys, I am doing my dishes, which is something I never do. I'm, I'm so bad at doing that. I'm just like, oh, I'll sort of do it tomorrow. But a good chef keeps a good, you know, clean workstation and, and, a, and, a, and a, a clean kitchen. That's a habit that I need to be better at. So that's another thing I promised myself that I'll do. And I'm going to live stream that dish cleaning here. I'm kidding. I'm not going to live stream. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Oh, hipster man must have asked about my Fraser episode, which I is true. I tried one, and I messed it up, and I and I, 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 I do. I was pretty upset about it. I'm, I'm pretty much over it now. But it's just a fun story for me to tell. Does my voice sound weird? 
Everybody else said it sounds fine. Yeah, I wish I could throw away Sarah's but that's some wasteful shit. Hang on. Sawyer just texted me. Sawyer. Oh, he's in the stream. Hey, Sawyer. Hey, bud. So I don't know what your screen name is, dude, but Sawyer is one of the boys. One, one, one of the boys, the, the dogging on the boys kind of kind of guys. He's, he's one of the thick boys. And, 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 and he's in the stream here. I hope he says something. Where you at? Where you at, Jake? Yeah, I brought a couple books to read. I brought Heat. I brought um, uh, uh, Walden because um, it's kind of the um, vibe I'm going for. Bon appetit. Where, where's he at? And I'm shouting you out like crazy. What's your screen name? Regression one. I don't think that's him. I don't. I don't believe that. I think that's that's an imposter. It's going to be something clever. That or he doesn't have a, an account. And he's just. He's just. He's uh. He's, he's creeping. Yeah, that's called um, lurking. Not creeping. <laughs> lurking. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, oh, this smells so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, the ginger is just like, whoo, and all the root vegetables. Hmm. Aggression 2. That's it. That'd be funny if, if, if he came in here and made a screen name called Aggression 2. He just texted me one sec. No, he didn't. What are, you, what are you saying, bro? All right, his his screen name is Rubber Pockets for Soup. That's see, that's really funny. That's wait, oh shit, what is that a reference to? Who had Rubber Pockets for Soup? Oh no. Oh no, what was that from? This is gonna drive me crazy. Somebody, somebody, tell me what he's referencing with that, please. I see, I see you now, bud. I see you. This is so cool. I'm, I mean, it's no different from texting, really, but it's just fun that uh, my friend showed up. A little bit of lavish magic. Blame him. Okay, I'm just going to skim a little fat. I got, some, I got some fat coming off these thighs here. That's what I hope to have happen for me this week. <laughs> anyway, um, got some fat coming off the thigh, so I'm going to skim this a bit, and I'm going to use a ladle to do that. You just sort of press it against the side of the pot, just letting the top layer of liquid fall in. See how that's happening? It's all fat, baby. Get rid of it. You want some fat in there, though, like chicken noodle soup. If not, chicken noodle soup without a little bit of chicken fat in there. A little bit of schmaltz, as it's called. What are you guys saying to Sawyer right now? It's from Golden Lodge. Well, you guys are in your own world over there. I'll leave you be. I'll be over here cooking. Rubber pockets, pockets for soup. I don't know what that is. Sawyer, get these guys riled up about something. <laughs> he knows that Sawyer's a riler. He's a born riler. He wanted to rile you up about something. Because it's funny. What? Sawyer must not be a subscriber because I don't see him using any emotes. Bring this down a notch. We're really, we're really bubbling here. Have it. I am not drinking anything tonight because I am on an, a, a health-centric escape from the city. I am, I am, I am not drinking, and I am only eating what I cook. Only whole foods. The soup is going to sustain me for several days here.
Thank you, Bloodheart. Yes, I am bringing beer back. I will be trying to get some heady topper before I leave. It's okay, Grumpskin. What do I normally do with leftovers? I eat them. I freeze them. I, I do whatever I can to, to preserve them and, and, and eat them. Sometimes I can't do anything with them, like Rachel's trifle from Friends. There's nothing I can do with that, so unfortunately sometimes things get wasted, which sucks, but that's the nature of the beast, baby. If I'm recreating this kind of stuff, I just, you know, I eat what I could have it. I ate some of the, I admit, I ate some, I scraped off the stew and I ate some of the, the lady fingers and the, the custard and it was good as hell. We got a, we got a uh, a rice. We'll be doing a rice episode before too long on uh, basics. Check out my recent episode, of the the uh, Simpsons Skinner Stew episode. Uh, pressure cooker is a great way to go for cooking rice. I got you into Fraser hipsters, man. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice to hear, Jake? We're spreading the Fraser love, the infinity pillars of Fraser genius. I'm making sure that these chicken thighs are really well cooked before shredding, because it's a real pain in the ass to shred undercooked chicken thighs. Sexiest of the dads, Baron of the Bronx, Lord of the Left. What does that mean? <laughs> Yeah, electric pressure cookers are amazing. Like, especially for a Buff Bourguignon, man. You can knock out a Buff Bourguignon, a great one, in like an hour with a pressure cooker. It's really awesome. Thank you for subscribing, Mac Quum, Mac Q U M C one. Thank you. Seafood boil. Find find a movie, you know? Find a movie, you know. What's my morning routine? It's over sleeping and Rushing in the shower to get ready and forgetting, you know. but, but the, 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 I do have a very specific routine for beard maintenance. You know. Trim, shampoo, condition, oil, brush every day. No exceptions. No excuses. Thank you for subscribing, Jinx uh, Jinx Sar. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing, Dolores Reptile. Uh, I mean, The Wire takes some time. Anybody will tell you The Wire takes some time to get into. Uh, uh, I can't read your name because it's in crazy color. Specify Jai. Uh, what, 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 you got to finish the whole first season before it's really going to get its claws in you. First episode's not going to grab you. It just doesn't. Thank you for subscribing, little boss up. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube, Hipsters Man. Favorite directors? John Favreau. Um, uh, uh, I mean, so many. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dennis, uh, I can't say his name. Dennis Villeneuve is doing amazing stuff. Sicario is incredible. I loved Arrival. Um, Old school directors, obviously Kubrick and, and Coppola, and um, I got to. You guys will see in a future video. I got to lie down in Francis Ford Coppola's bed in Belize because I went to Belize at to his resort. He's got a resort out there for his wine, his, uh, for Coppola wine, because I'm doing some work with Coppola wine, and uh, and and uh, I, I, they took me to his private suite and I laid down in his bed. <laughs> Villeneuve. Villeneuve, thank you. Villeneuve. Yeah, the, the soup does need pepper. It will, but you don't season until the end. Yeah, Blade Runner 2049 is great. If you're a fan of the original Blade Runner, I think you kind of have to be because it's just as like atmospheric and weird and meditative and... Uh, and, and sort of unclear... Yeah, I'm on Twitch, baby. Thank you for subscribing, Bobby Jingles. I like your name. 
Oh, this soup smells so good, you guys. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me bananas. I'm getting ready to shred my chicken here, so I'm going to scoop this guy over to the side without spilling hot soup all over myself. Get in sustaining third degree burns on camera. That would be unfun. Scoop, 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 scoop. Yep. And uh, as usual, you need a moist paper towel and a cutting board. Whoa! This is a powerful sink. This thing catches me up there every time. All right, that's perfect right there. Red Letter Media, I have not watched that. Um, I don't eat bread with the soup because it's got pasta in it, so like, why, you know? I'm not trying to cargo load like a crazy person here. All right, let's tong us some chicken. And then it's horse. Where did she eat the horse? There they are. Two forks will do it. Let's yank these guys. They're doing good. Turn the temperature down a little bit. I'm going to overcook my veg. I'm trying to undercook my, my vegetables as much as possible because every time you reheat the soup, you're getting softer veg. If you if you if you freeze the soup, you're getting a really soft veg. So the the, the less you cook them now, the better this soup is gonna hold up in the fridge. One more, where are you? There you are. There you are, rascal. There. Okay. Well, thank you very much, X Stark. That's very kind. Don't eat chocolate. No, no, you eat chocolate. It's great. I've not tried rice. I mean, chicken and rice soup is pretty standard. I just prefer noodles over rice when it comes to uh, soup, generally. Unless we're talking about like a wild rice soup, then then I'll then I'll, then I'll get down. But. See, this, this chicken's not fully cooked, so it's going to be a pain to shred. It doesn't really matter if it's not fully cooked. Don't freak out, because it's going to keep cooking. You're going to throw it back in there, and it's going to cook a while longer. So, see that? It's not totally ready yet, but we are going to shred it up, and we're going to put it right back in, and then we'll finish cooking. So, don't have... Take a chill pill. Just relax, okay? Just, just take it easy. It's all going to be okay. Thank you for Ravelands. Harlem is a great place to live. Um, <laughs> the Marvel series, I'm sure, is shot on a soundstage or something. Because no, Harlem's a wonderful place to live. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's you know, people are moving in. It's getting expensive. This is the nature of the, of the same thing happened down in Brooklyn. Same things happening up in Harlem. The price of housing is going up. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do? But I got a pretty good place for a pretty good price right now, so I'm, sta I'm staying put. Man. That's hot. <laughs> I'm going to finish shredding this. Boy, I messed too much with that. And I like shredding my chicken. Some people like cutting it in nice little cubes, and hey, that's your prerogative. This is, this is a, a free world, and you should be free to do what you want. But I like shredded chicken. My soup. I think it's a great texture difference, and uh, it just looks nicer than, than cubes. Cubes make it look like it, it's, it's something you got out of a can. You know? A little bit too much fat. In there. Let's dodge the fat, boys. Let's just dodge the fat. And there's one of my favorite little things. This little nugget. In every chicken thigh, there's always this little nugget. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat him. A lot of raw chicken, that's a bad idea. It's okay. <laughs> that part was cooked. That part was definitely cooked. Okay. Let's keep the shred in here. Sorry, I'm missing what you guys are saying. What, what are we saying? I'm not eating raw chicken. It's okay. Anyway. It's not raw. It's a little raw, but not that part. Yes, I am self-taught. I went to film school, not culinary school, so that's why I'm making dumb decisions like that. I'm gonna get in there. There we go. There we go. 
Yeah, it's medium rare chicken. Which, apparently, you know, is raw chicken being served in Japan. Because the health codes are just so much better that, like... The only reason ch chicken is unsafe to eat raw is because we have such crap health codes in this country. That's what I've read, at least. I don't, again, don't know if that's true. Saying a lot of stuff tonight. I can't back up. I can only point you to articles or whatever, whatever, or my friend's experiences. Tread, tread, tread. Tread it up. I'm trying to keep all this, you know, spoon size. I want this to be spoon sized. Oh, what's going on here? What are we up to, guys? What, what's the latest ch chat, chit chat? I've ever eaten Brunswick stew. I haven't. What is Brunswick stew? Pray tell. Uh, yes, Eddie's real name was Moose, and his son's name, crap, uh, because. The dog was replaced when he retired. Was replaced by his own son, uh, but I can't remember what that dog's name was. Jake, if you're still here, jump in. I cannot remember. I wouldn't say. I mean, oh. Oh, guys. I'm wasting some meat here. There's a lot of sinewy fat on this chicken thigh. Oh, what's going on here? These are really sinewy and fatty. I'm trying to just get the meat in there. Our skin. Okay. Let us reintroduce our chicken back to the soup. That looks like the perfect amount of chicken for this amount of soup. Let me just this thing up. Look at that. We have got us. A real live soup in our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna pop this up a little bit because um, last step, herbs, which right now is when you when you want to add your uh, your parsley, and then if you have dill, I couldn't get dill, so I don't have dill, so sorry. But if you have dill, add it right at the end, right before you take it off the heat, because you want that fresh, vivacious dilliness. What was the name of Fraser's first first wife? Was uh, oh okay. Um, oh jeez, 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 jeez. Uh, Fraser's first wife was the hippie girl who became uh, Nanny G. Nanette. It must have been Nanette. No, not 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 Nanette. Um, she was Nanny G on that one episode. Oh, what the hell? Somebody help me out. I wasn't looking. Recipe calls for milk. What kind of milk to use? I usually use whole milk because you know you get more, more, more. Uh, uh, no, it's it's not Lilith. Lilith is his second wife. His first wife. He was married in college for like a second, uh, and she became no. Lilith was his second wife. Come on, guys, get with it. Get with the program. <laughs> uh, all right, let me grab the parts so they can grab Oh, so go to the fridge, I have to look directly into the light, and it's just blinding. Okay, let's count this. I rinsed this off earlier, don't worry. I would rinse your parsley before you use it, because there's always be some grit in there. And then, once you add the grit, you can get it out. It's like sand in your house. It's coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. <laughs> Nanette, yeah, it was Nanette. See? Yeah. He was married for like a minute in college to a hippie girl and then almost immediately got divorced. And she became Nanny G. Sorry, I won't sing. I'll stop singing. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Beer Funk. Your name elicits bad things in my mind, just like a beery burp or something. <laughs> that message makes no sense. Uh, well, I did a big Kahuna burger from from um, from uh, uh, what's it called from Pulp Fiction, 
So I don't think there's any difference there. I think that that's his, you know, his universe cross crossovers. Um, bay leaves add a little subtle bay leafiness. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the, uh, bay, bay leaves are, you know, they're very subtle, but like, it's very hard to describe. It's, it's an herbaceous flavor, obviously, and you just sort of need to taste something that was stewed with a bay leaf and one that was not, and you'll, you'll taste the difference. I can't really. Um, I did smoke for a minute. I did, but I've stopped, and I've started using a uh, vaporizer pen to stop doing that because it's bad for me, obviously, and because I shouldn't smoke. I wasn't like a regular smoker, but there was a point where I got, I was pretty low, and I was smoking very regularly, and I knew that I had to stop, so. I have not seen three billboards. I'm dying to see it. It's supposed to be amazing. Uh, Oscar buzzy movies this year. You know, there are some great options out there. Good niche. Smoking is bad. Yes, smoking is bad. And I shan't do it again. All right, I'm going to add these herbs and we got some soup. We got stew going, baby. No room here. Here we go. A little rough chop on the parsley. I don't want any huge pieces, but I also don't want any like you know, tiny. I want to be on the present in the soup. No, I'm dying to see a disaster artist. Oh my god, I haven't seen any movies. The only movie I've seen in theaters recently was Star Wars, and that's because you know I had to. Like I had to go see Star Wars in theaters, and I just haven't had the time to go see movies in theaters. Anymore, you know. There we go. That's a good shot. Let's get this guy in here. Now again, if you if you got dill, add it. Let this simmer for like five minutes because the pars parsley has a pretty strong flavor. You want that to mellow out. You know, it's pretty mineral and, and, and herbaceous and, and you want that to really mellow out and become part of the soup rather than this like bright vegetable that you eat along with the soup. Oh, look at that, guys. And now is the time that we season. We've got our chicken fully cooked. We got we got our herbs in. Oh, come on. Give me a break. The color, I just realized I got S-Log turned on, so the color is way washed out right now. Here, hang on a second. I'm going to fix that. Wait, well, you guys see the color of the soup. Whoa! Turn it down. There we go. Oh, look, look. That's so much better. Jeez. That's what the magic of color correction. Is that too dark? This seems good. Too much! <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Now you can see. Oh, yeah. That's so much better. Thank goodness I did that. Oh, but look how much better that soup looks now. My goodness. Okay. Let me, let me strike this in the set. Wipe up my workstation a little bit. Now you got that stuck in my head, dude. All right, uh, let me grab a bowl. Um, I got the uh, bowls in the other room. Let me let me run and grab a bowl. Screen is not dead. I'm still here. Don't you worry. Here enough. I return on the morrow. Here we go. All right, let's get this guy plated. Brunswick stew, southern dish. All right, I'm all over it. Okay, killing the heat. And see, seasoning time. I'm actually going to leave the heat on one more minute because that parsley is looking a little raw still. Uh, where's my salt at? Here we go. Nope, we don't have any kosher salt in this place. Like I said, I came here. I'm not prepared. I'm just. I decided to cook with whatever's in this kitchen. That's a very well outfitted kitchen, but she does have table salt, which is an enemy of mine. Um, right. So, gotta be careful with this stuff because it's not. It's not forgiving at all. You don't know how much is coming out. Every salt shaker is different. But this is a lot of soup, so I am gonna go a little crazy at first here. Let's get a great scoop. Thank you. 
Ooh, that's a soup spoon. It might be so hard. Alright, let's get that salt. Use your hand. I'm not gonna... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not I'm not at home, guys. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a foreign place. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I just need one more. That was a surprisingly close to where it needs to be. God, table salt is so unforgivingly strong. I can't stand it. Just grow your own kosher salt. Duh. Okay. Let's see. I'm just using my laptop mic for this episode, guys. I'm sorry if the sound's not up to spec. But let's see where we're at now. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, I love chicken noodle soup, guys. You can't tell. I love it. Let's dish it up. Remember, add dill if you got it. I don't got dill at the moment. So I'm, I'm without I'm villas. I'm dillis in Vermont. It's a tiny little bowl. Get barely a portion in here. This, this, this camera's too hot. Let me, let me crank it down one more. That, that soup is too bright. There you go. Bowl's still a little hot, but that's looking that's looking right. Oh, guys, this is one of life's very, 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 very few great pleasures. Um, th th this this soup is so nourishing and, and flavorful. It's unlike anything you've ever tried before. If you if you've only ever had canned chicken noodle soup, homemade chicken noodle soup is so much better. I forgot about the noodles. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about the news. All right. Well, here we go. Go back in. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let me get this guy off the side. Get a saucepan going. Here we go. Put this little guy. Looks like you might work on induction. What do you think? No, uh, it doesn't work with induction. Okay. Um, stand by one. See, the reason I'm doing this, guys, if you aren't familiar, if you didn't watch the episode, the reason I'm doing this is because um, you want to cook the noodles as you serve the soup. Interesting. Uh, you want to cook the noodles as you serve the soup. If I cooked them into the soup right now, they would be mush by tomorrow. So I don't want that. I want them to be al dente every time. How about this guy? Damn it. Okay, no good. Um, hang on. What do I do? Maybe this guy. Maybe this guy I was using before. It's looking pretty heavy. Whoa! This is a powerful thing. Let it be known. Tell me why. Thank you guys for reminding me about the noodles. I almost just went noodleless because I was so excited about soup. I haven't eaten in so long. Yeah, this all this soup is for me. I'm gonna subsist off this soup for the next week out here in Vermont. Alright, how about you? You gonna heat this guy up? What do you think? There we go. That's the noise I like to not like to hear because it sounds terrible, but okay. Uh, so First things first, I'm going to ladle up some soup in here with some extra broth so we got room for noodles, okay? Make sure you leave room for noodles, you guys. Play it smart, play it safe. The green hero. Okay. I'm doing like two, three ladlefuls of just broth with you. It's just going to get sucked up by the nudes. All right. There we go. Power it up. Let's get this guy to a rolling boil. And let me get my nudes. I couldn't get, I couldn't score any egg noodles again. I just went to a little co-op today to get all this stuff. I got some, some nice uh, Durham 
Somalia Fusili, which is going to be just fine. And uh, read the directions. 12 minutes. That's how long I'm going to cook it for. Shocker. So we're bringing this guy to a rolling boil. And then we're going to have nine minutes to tow. We're not nine minutes, 12 minutes. 12 minutes to talk. Just you and me. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you my nudes. I'll show you the nudes. These are all getting blocked by the, the spam. That's so funny. The nudes! All right, here we go. And just a few. Just enough. That'll do it. Next. Pick it up, and we're gonna have to season this again once the noodles are cooked because the noodles need salt. We have to season, add a little bit more salt. All right, uh, timer. I'm gonna set a timer like a like a grown up. Look at my phone. Oh, here's my phone. I've long stopped listening to the music. Oh, I got a text. Oh, Kristen, it's Hayden. It's Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Oh. I messed up. Oop, turn this down. Okay, setting a timer. It's been about a minute now, so let's. And I like to be a little al dente, so I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. So, in the meantime, let's talk about you guys. Let's wrap. Tell me what's going on. It's plenty of pasta, it's going to double in size. Text for Sheet and Jess. Uh, what do I not like cooking slash baking? I don't really like baking. Baking's hard. Baking is science, and and cooking is is art. It's just like you, you you just sort of you can improvise it and you can play with it. And baking, you can't mess with anything. That is a formula. You know, I do need some mods. You're, you're absolutely right. Favorite mystery science three uh, mystery science theater three thousand episode has got to be from the old series. Has got to be. Um, Maybe Final Sacrifice, or I don't know. Probably it's Final Sacrifice. I will, yes, that's another thing that we shot for basics. We made a, a cocktail basics episode. Uh, eight classic cocktails. Uh, just simple, you know, these are the liquors you need, these are the, the tools you need. Keep them stocked in your bar, and you can make these cocktails anytime. Favorite board game? I want to get more into board games. All my friends have played Settlers of Catan. I've never played it, and I've always been, I've been dying to play it. Hey there, eh? <laughs> yeah, Final Sacrifice, I think, is the best one. Or Laser, Laser Blast is great, too. There's somewhere that's, like, just one line. Oh! Uh, the, um, shit, what's it called? Uh, Boggy... Boggy Creek 2, The Legend Continues, is incredible. I love that one. Boggy Creek 2, that's it. Tell us about the apron. This is a Sintas, Sintas, Sintas apron. Available on Amazon. S-Y-N-T-U-S is my preferred brand because it's nice and long. It's heavy. It's got two pockets. Simple. I like it. I've I've heard I've heard great things about this like haunted house game. I love Alton Brown. He's one of my heroes. I have done nothing in Vermont so far because I quite literally drove up, unpacked my gear, went grocery shopping, came back, set up the gear, and started streaming. <laughs> that's that's been my experience in Vermont so far. What food can I not stand? Cilantro. Everybody knows that. Betrayal. Favorite Babish episode. <laughs> I don't think I can pick a favorite Babish episode. I, I have a hard time watching my own show, to be honest. Uh, King Arthur Flower. Oh, no, no, yeah. I, I, I've been to the King Arthur Flower Mill in Vermont last time I was here, like three years ago, and it was it was awesome. Marco Pierre White's cool. Cilantro is not almost parsley, baby. It's, the, 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 there's, a, there's a genetic difference that makes it unpalatable for some people like me. Favorite go-to meal? I mean, you know, I don't know if I have a go-to meal. I think I think 
I keep saying Buff Bourguignon just because it's the thing that I've probably made the most in my life. It's the thing I've gotten the best at making. Arlem, that's not very nice. I'm kidding. Go see Bernie Sanders. Where? You're going to make Cacio Pepe for a date? Well, buckle up because you're about to get laid. I don't like Iberian ham because it's great. It's delicious, but it's way too expensive. It's not worth the price. It's kind of like great champagne. Like, I can't taste the difference. A bottle of Dom Perignon tastes the same to me as one that is a, an eighth of the price. Uh, so it, it just doesn't, it doesn't compute with me. Pizza ba Yes, we also did Pizza Basics with Babish. You guys are nailing all the ones that we shot. We did a Pizza, pizza Basics with Babish, eggs, cocktails. We did a Pantry Essentials, a Spice Rack Essentials. Uh, we did um, a bunch of stuff. I can't remember the other ones. I've not been to Maine. Never been to Maine. I, I don't think it exists. According to some people I've heard, I don't think Maine exists. Pizza One will be coming out. I'm not entirely sure yet. We don't really have a schedule for when these are coming out. I think the next one is going to probably going to be Pantry Essentials, maybe. Um, this carne asada. Oh yeah, fucking uh, what's that? Uh, Tuco makes uh, carne asada, doesn't he? Boudoir with Babish. Tell teach us how to shop food. I can't do that. You guys gotta. I'd love to go to New York Comic Con. I'm just waiting for somebody to invite me. I don't want to buy a ticket. I want to have them call me and be like, hey, you want to be a panelist or something? And I'll be there. Uh, I've never played the game Overcooked. I love Good Eats, obviously. I rarely get to grill. I only get to grill when I go to my uh, friend's house out in the suburbs. Uh, Residius, thank you for subscribing. The Roots, thank you for subscribing. I can't teach fucking right. I can't teach you how to love again because I'm trying to learn again myself because I am, I am uh, of of the brokenhearted right now in the in the world. I am I am very much in the brokenhearted constituency. Um, I've never been to Australia or New Zealand. I'm dying to go. Second book plans absolutely. Starting to write the second book right now. Country to Pepe's Pizza sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Even though I think it's just. Parmesan pizza. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, you mean Bedtime with Babish? Every week, man. New one came out yesterday. Thank you very much, Fanny Dubois. I like your name. Broken Hearted Boys, yep. Favorite cheese has got to be Cowgirl Creamery Midnight Moon. It was amazing. Uh, I love. The Great British Baking Show, love it because mainly because of Mary Berry, you know, she she's she's she is a, she is like the baddest bitch. Sorry, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna give you my Nintendo Switch friend code. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's Sawyer asking me for that. <laughs> I'll give you my Nintendo Switch friend code. Just do. It's not my birthday, Team me, but thank you. And Wang, thank you for subscribing. That's kind. Three more minutes on our stuff. Yes, I would date somebody out of state. I have dated somebody out, from out of state. Uh, I have talked to Chef John. We're talking about maybe doing a collab sometime soon. It would be great. Um, Japanese knives and Western knives each have their own place, like their own uh, advantages and disadvantages. I like a rounded chef's knife, you know, for, for, for certain applications, and it's a nice flat santoku for others. That's nice to hear, Residius. Thank you for subscribing. Rubber Pockets for Soup is trying to start a riot. It's not going to work. Collab with Hannah Hart. She's too busy with Food Network for little old me now. Eric Andre Show, I love. It's time to deliver a pizza ball. I'm going to do a pizza ball one day, I promise. I don't keep the smoke alarms from going off. I unplug them. You shouldn't do that, but that's what I do. Um, yeah, Chef John's the man. Anybody who hasn't checked out Chef John, go check him out. Dinner Impossible, eh, I prefer Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, and I prefer the UK version, not the US version, because there isn't all this goofy reality show music in the background. Like, like just like anytime something goofy is happening, it's like a, 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 a just the quirky cartoon music. And um, 
and uh, uh, I, and also you can, you can swear in the in the, U, the UK ones. It's just better. Favorite meal of the day? Um, probably dinner, because that's when I get hungriest. No, lunch, because I'm way hungry at lunch. So that's when I was like really satisfied. Like, oh, finally, lunch. Lunch is here. So, yeah, the UK version is much more like a documentary. Feels like he's really like helping businesses instead of just making a reality show. It's great. I love Byron Talbot. He's a beautiful man, and he's an incredible cook. <laughs> of course I'm willing to get drunk on video. Have you ever met me? Alex French guy cooking is great. Nudes are almost done. 44 seconds left on the nudes. Oh, they're looking good. They're looking right. Let's take a, let's take a closer look. That's chicken meal soup, my friends. That's what it is. Uh, I have not. I've watched a couple other Twitch food streamers, but I, I not, not many. I'd like to watch more, um, so I know how to prop, more properly do it. You're giving you're giving blood tomorrow. Good for you, man. Um, eat a cookie afterwards. They give you cookies right after. Eat them. Drink some lemonade. And yeah, dude, this is <laughs> this is my this is my booze substitute. This is this what's there's a twelve pack of these in the fridge that I'm burning through. Oh, you hear that? That's my nudes. My phone just blew up with nudes. All right. There's my lady. There it is. Let's lay this guy out. This is a tiny, tiny bowl. I've never seen a bowl so tiny as this. Oh yeah, thank you for reminding me about the noodles, guys. I almost made this just plain old chicken soup, which would have been unacceptable. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. With a San Pellegrino on the side. Nothing quite refreshes like chicken noodle soup and San Pellegrino. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Right. I'm not sponsored by San Pellegrino. The soup is now complete. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's everything I've ever wanted in a, in a bowl, in a meal. I, I mean, this has schmaltz in it, really, because, uh, it, it, I, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's sort of Jewish style because it does have schmaltz in it just from the chicken. Like you got so much chicken fat in here, it's brimming with chicken fat. You can see just like little, little globules of, of fat all around the top. It's delicious. I'm gonna let this uh, cool off a little bit before I have a bite. No, I'm gonna have a bite now and burn the shit out of my, in my mouth. Why not? I forgot to re-season the shoot. It's probably fun. Ow. Ah! Oh. I knew it and I did it anyway. But it's so good. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that was really hot. Ah! Oh. Ow. Yeah, man, I've passed out after giving blood. Be, be safe. This man is hot. Oh, man. No, I'm not in... Or, I don't know if I'm close to Norwich, Vermont. I'm in the South Vermont. I don't know. Dennis. Dennis all the way. Mac is funny, but Dennis is my favorite character on It's Always Sunny. You know? Next stream is... Two weeks from today, it's every other every other Thursday, is the live stream. So, at 8 p.m. Eastern, every time. And when 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 I'm not live streaming, the the screen, you know, the 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 screen, the the uh, whatever it's called, the, the frame that it's sitting on. Yeah, is that a bone? No, it's fine. Um, uh, it is going to say the date and the time of the next live stream. So just just keep keep an eye out for that. Yeah, but Den Den Dennis is when Dennis loses his mind and starts screaming at people because he has like this psycho edge. When he loses his mind, it is the funniest thing in the world to me. Like at the high school reunion, when he just lost his shit and started getting all of those like serial killer tools out of the back of his car. I'm gonna unplug this so it stops worrying. Hang on a second. There we go. That's better. 
That's better. Yeah, when he loses his shit in that high school reunion episode, it's so... Tools! <laughs> it's so funny. Alright. Let's see if I can eat this now. Mmm. Oh, it's like... Anybody who tries this will tell you, and this is going to sound weird, it's like sweet. There's like a sweetness to it. And I think it's from... I don't know what the hell it's from. Maybe it's from the, the ginger or something but this there's, there's a there's a sweetness to it and god it just it just takes your breath away x spudly x that's nice to hear man different background i'm on vacation i'm in vermont right now baby no i mean yeah carrots are sweet but i don't know like it's a it's a sweetness you you just got to try it for yourself man it's so freaking good, and um, I got a, I got a, a wood burning, uh, a, a, a wood burning stove over there with a nice log going, and I'm gonna go eat this in front of the fire. I wish with a glass of scotch, but not this time around because I'm taking a, a break from the from the booze for a couple of weeks, and uh, uh, and I'm gonna go enjoy this by the fire. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be nice. This place has no TV, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be. Chilling with my soup and a, maybe a nice book. Um, I've never been to Atlanta. I'd love to go to Atlanta. No dessert. I'm doing the whole 30 thing. Maybe, maybe not the whole 30, but I'm doing something where I'm just like eating whole foods and only foods that I've cooked. So no dessert. <sighs> yeah, I mean, carrots and ginger might be that. <sighs> no TV. It has the internet and I got a laptop, so worst comes to work. You can do, I can do that, but I have been to Nebraska. I'm sad, to, uh, not not because of Nebraska. I've had some, I have some sad memories in, in Nebraska. Uh, I loved it there, but I can never go back. Um, oh yeah, it's like I, I need the hug for my stomach, man. I need it right now. So I'm gonna go eat this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for cooking along if you cooked. Thank you for subscribing. Everybody new that subscribed. Thank you. Uh, here, I'm going to drop an emote on y'all. I'm going to give you a big kiss. Big smooch for you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you guys try this for, your, for yourselves. Have a great, happy Friday. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'll be here uh, losing my mind in the woods. Oh! Ow. Bye, guys. <laughs>